The 110th edition of Liège Baston Le Liège took place in very cold temperatures. Another cool, wet day in the Ardennes, just as it had been on Wednesday when there were many riders frozen out at Flèche Wallon. The great and the good were here. Today, Pogaccia racing for just the tenth time this season. Mathieu van der Poel hoping to become the first man to win Roubaix, Flanders and Liège all in the same year. And 254.5 kilometers were to be taken on by the peloton. Four and a half thousand meters of climbing across 11 classified climbs and plenty of other unclassified ascents. Out to Bastogne and a long way back through the hills. Most of the race ready to kick off in its traditional points. Stocker, Utlevé, leading up to La Redoute, Forge and Rochefaucon. Final climb topping out 13 kilometers from the finish back in Liège. 175 riders with 52 debutants, and they were chasing nine riders up the road. Nine strong riders with just under five minutes of a gap. They included Helders, Rochas, Lenz, Scaroni, and Calmejan. Joining them, Romeo, Dubé, Ursula, and Flieger. Flieger, the local boy. Inside 100 kilometers to go in a moment that would condition the rest of the race. A crash. Lots of riders caught up behind it, including the world champion Mathieu van der Poel and Tom Pidcock. It was over the speed bump, a couple of riders losing footing, and down they would go. And at this point, with Israel Premier Tech already drilling it on the front, the racing being on, first of the big climbs to come inside the final 95 k's, there was quite the difference. It soon became over a minute to make up for Father Paul and company, and the break at the front were to be caught. Derek G riding up. A mechanical for Tom Pidcock meant that he would slip. And then he would try and launch himself across. Just under 80 kilometers to go when he made his move. Van der Poel deciding not to follow that one. But things would come back together just under 20 kilometers down the road. Peacock getting on around a minute before Van der Poel, who spent a lot less energy. But energy had been spent all day by UAE Emirates. No attacks until this point, and the descent into La Redoute saw UAE win the battle and then start to ride. A quick turn from Domen Novak, and then this was the moment. Just under 35 kilometers to go on the lower slopes of La Redoute, where Tadej Pogaccia took off. Healy tried to follow, his teammate Karapad did, but not for long. Two bike lengths turn to three. And then, as Pogacar looked around over the top of the hill, he was all alone. Tadej Pogacar, winner the last time he'd finished this race. Unable to turn up two years previous because of a family bereavement. And last year, when Bremko Evnopol won the second of his two titles, it would be Pogacar who would crash and break his wrist. This time, at the same point that Evnopol had gone to win the year before, it was a 25 second gap that was growing behind two groups getting together the question is would they ride together Mathieu von der Poel leading the second chase group and Tadej Pogacar now approaching 30 minutes of a gap still two classified climbs to come after this point and as the gap ballooned to over a minute nobody wanting to do the work Ben Healy went off the front he took Roman Bardet with him. Chasing two would be Romain Grégoire. Cousneufroy was in the move. There was a brief rain shower. And a rainbow still in the group chasing behind. Van der Poel waiting and biding his time. On to the final climb of the day. 
Romain Bardet had stolen a march by this point and he was getting towards 20 seconds of a gap on Van der Poel and the rest. Healy already beaten to that particular fight. And Bardet would be happy to see that behind it'll be stop start stuff. Attack, wait, attack, neutralized. And by the time the next attacks came, the gap had grown even more. Mathieu van der Poel making it back on again, this time with 5Ks to go. And inside the final few hundred metres, Tadej Pogacar doing it all again. Six and a quarter hours of full gas riding. Another monument, a second Liège, a 70th career win and a dedication to his partner's late mother who died two years previous around this time of year. Pogaccia back in Liège, winning again. Seven wins from ten days on the road this season. An incredible performance from an ever more incredible athlete. Tremendous stuff from Tadej Pogaccia, whose next objective is the Giro. Behind him, a podium for Romain Bardi. A brilliant ride from the Frenchman. His nation's wait for a win goes on. It will be now 45 years since Bernard Hinault's win by the time the next Liège comes around. But Valdir was there and completing a stellar list of names at the top. Yes, none other than Mathieu von Apoel. It didn't work out for him today, but in his two Liège appearances, third is now his best ever result. And Mathieu von Apoel finishing on the podium. Above him, Valdir winning top of the pile and by a long way. A class above once again, Tadej Bogacar. Another day. Another race and another podium. Another moment on the top step. Bogaccio winning. Next up, the Giro d'Italia. And in this sort of form, Giro Tour double? You wouldn't bet against it, would you?